video is on how to measure and draw bearings. There are three points to consider when you are working with bearings. The first one is that the measure of direction is always taken from north, it always goes clockwise and it's always written in three figures. For example, it says measure the bearing B from A in each case. Now what you need to do is get your protractor place it on the bearing don't forget you have to measure from north so the center of your protractor needs to go on that point which is a in this case so that's the first criteria being met that you start from north then you go clockwise that's the second criteria okay the angles measured 58 the third one was that you have to write this to write it in three figures now 58 is only two figures so what do we do we just place a zero in front of it and write 058 look at the second one again start from north go clockwise measure the angle 150 degrees and write the angle in three figures well that's already in three figures so we just leave it as 150 degrees what about here you've got an angle but it's the opposite way well you still have to follow the rules through so you start at north and you go clockwise but the issue is it's very difficult to measure this whole angle here so what we're going to do is we're going to measure the remaining part so get your protractor there measure anti-clockwise and 64 degrees so if that's 64 we know the remaining part is going to be whatever is left to add up to 360. So the bearing is 360 minus 64, which is 296. So if we did measure from here, all of that going up to there is going to be 296 degrees. Have a look at this example. B is a bearing 120 degrees from A and a distance of 4 centimeters. So we are first of all going to measure 120 degrees and then we're going to draw a line of 4 centimeters. There we go. And then join that up. And there you have it. B is a bearing from A and a distance of 4 centimeters. Don't forget to label it B. Now, let's just go back here a second. Don't forget the wording. It says B is a bearing from A. Whatever letter it says from A or from C or from whatever, that's the origin or that's the place that it starts. So make sure that when you actually read the sentence that you pick out the key information as to where the beginning is and where the end is. Example 2, B is a bearing 225 degrees from A, so from A, that's the center, and a distance of 5 centimeters. Now how are we going to draw 225 degrees? So what you could do is draw the opposite or the remaining part and that's going to be 135 so 225 plus 135 add up to make 360 in total so you're just going to draw that part in first okay and then draw the five centimeters and then you have got your bearing here of 220 Five. Now why is it like that? So don't forget your measure is always going to be from north, it's always going to be clockwise, and it's going to be in three figures. Now although the marking here shows this angle, the bearing is always taken as a measure from north, so it's actually still correct. Question in context now, it says John runs from A to B and back again. So he runs from A to B and then back again. What is the bearing of his outward run from A to B. So from A to B, what is the bearing? Well, we can see that the measure there is 57 degrees. So the bearing is going to be simply 057 degrees. But then it asks, what is the bearing of his return run from B to A? So this is why I said it's important for you to read the information carefully from B to A. Okay, so it's from B. So don't forget the bearings are always measured north okay taken from north and that's 57 so if we started here okay it's going from here all the way back around to a which is over here so it's 57 degrees plus the 180 
So because the corresponding angles are equal and because the angles along the straight line add up to 180 and then he's going straight back to A. So don't forget he's gone, the bearing is gone like that. Once you've got that, it's back on the line going straight back to A. Okay, so again, you measure north, you go clockwise until you get to the line and then you go back to A. So it's going to be 57 because this angle and this angle are the same because they are corresponding angles and these uh, and this angle adds up to 180 because it's a straight line so you add them both together and you get 237 degrees